Hey guys, what is up? How's everyone's day going? Mine is going good. I'm exhausted. Um, I had my maternity photos done today and I got hot. <laughs> it got humid. My hair is not doing what it needs to do. But I just wanted to film a quick little Q&A today and I asked for questions on my Instagram and I got a couple so I'm going to answer those few questions and I did get one from YouTube so I'm gonna answer that one as well so yeah okay okay so first question is talk about your struggles slash coping slash successes while your husband is deployed I think this could really benefit military spouses, especially me, since my husband is deploying next year. So, it's gonna sound cliche, but I've just found things to do with my extra time. I was working, I'm not working right now, um, but it's a lot easier to cope with things when you're busy <laughs> and you're not just sitting there by yourself thinking about it all the time. I know that the night that Colin left was kind of probably the hardest and I've made some really good friends here and we do stuff all the time so I keep myself pretty busy um, between them, the dogs, taking care of the house and everything. It's, it's, it hasn't been that bad and Colin and I talk as much as we can so it hasn't been the hardest thing but definitely recommend just finding something to do find friends that understand what you're dealing with and what it's like because they'll be able to give their support rather than people that don't really understand so yeah that's the biggest biggest thing for me that's gotten me through it okay i zoomed in a little bit Next question is, how did you react when you first heard the baby's heartbeat? Um, I just could not stop smiling. It was like the coolest thing ever. I don't know. It's so weird, but like it's so cool at the same time. Um, I didn't cry. <sighs> I haven't really gotten, I'm not an emotional person like that. I don't know. I was just really, I was like, wow, that is so cool. Like I was kind of more in like awe about how like, because I've never experienced this before. I was just in awe about how cool it was. <laughs> so, yeah. Next question is, how did you react when you first felt baby kick? And I don't remember the, the first time that I felt him moving. Um, it's kind of a weird thing to explain. So when, when he moves, it kind of, well, Earlier on, now he just kicks the crap out of me, but it's kind of like, it feels kind of like a wave, like going in your stomach, like a wave. It's so weird. I can't even explain. So honestly, the first time that it happened, I probably didn't think anything of it because it kind of feels like some other things that you can feel in there, I guess, if that makes sense. But... <laughs> I think it's pretty cool. I, sometimes I'll just sit here and he'll be moving around a ton and I'm just like, aw, that's, that's cool. Sometimes he hits me really hard and it scares the crap out of me <laughs> and I jump a little bit, but you know, it's, it's cool, it's cool. Next person said, do people ever ask to or ever rub your belly in public? And the only person that touches me is Amber and <laughs> Natalie did when I was home. So those are the only people that I'm cool with touching me. Everybody else, if they touch me, mm, mm But no, no one's ever asked me, like strangers or anything in public, I don't know. <laughs> Next question is, does it hurt when baby kicks and what does it feel like? Kind of explained what it felt like already. And no, it doesn't hurt, it's just kind of weird. <laughs> Not gonna lie, it, it doesn't hurt. It just catches me off guard sometimes. I'm like, oh chill dude <laughs> uh next question is how has this pregnancy been and i did 
I film a video talking about each trimester and personally for me like it hasn't really made my life feel any different it hasn't I was super super exhausted um in the first trimester like dead to the world exhausted and I'm I'm getting back there now because I haven't been sleeping very well but besides that like I didn't really it didn't really affect anything it didn't change anything so it's been a pretty good pregnancy pretty easy pretty smooth I think I got really lucky with this one for being my first so very grateful for that <sighs> next question is did you have other names in mind and I've always had like a list of baby names just like that I would go to and sometimes if I think of one that's like cool I would go to it or like add to this list and I didn't even think about any other names at this time. Um, I looked back at my list and I was like none of these really feel right and then Colin came up with this name and he was like I really really like it and really want to do it so I was like okay well we could do that if I could pick the middle name so I had other names they just didn't feel right and I didn't really think of anything else before Colin came up with the name that we chose so yes I had other names but no I wasn't really considering them I guess <sighs> The last question comes from YouTube <laughs> and it says, have you had any embarrassing or TMI symptoms like lots of gas slash farting during your pregnancy? TMI symptoms. Let's see. Um, I guess it varies for everybody, <laughs> but the first trimester, I was constipated to hell. I could not shit for the life of me. and. I know a lot of people that are pregnant that dealt with that and I'm just like, I can't, I, I really can't because I'm not used to this, this isn't fun, <laughs> like this is not good for me, I don't like this. So first trimester, that sucked and then <sighs> gas wise, hasn't really changed from normal, so yeah, I don't really have any, <laughs> I don't really know not anything abnormal that other people haven't experienced before when you're pregnant you have a lot more discharge than normal my ladies so if you've never been pregnant get ready for that because that's fun um constipation like i i don't i don't think i've had any other crazy ones or else i would probably no i mean that's that's pretty much it on TMI symptoms. Yeah, I don't know. Let me know if anybody's watching this that are currently pregnant or had, had kids. Let me know if you've had any TMI symptoms because I want to see if I've had any of them. Because maybe I'm just not paying attention. I don't know. I'm not really sure. But that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I wish I got some more questions, but that's okay. That's fine. We work with what we get. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And make sure you comment TMI symptoms down below. And if you guys have any other video ideas that you would like for me to put out there for you, let me know. Because I will do them. I'm not very creative. I'm running out of ideas. <laughs> and I don't want to be repetitive. So if there's anything you definitely want to see, let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you. Bye.